What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what we got going on today is we have the Kimoto. This is the uh, dual cab, or double cab, sorry, GS02, it's from G-Made. Bonus parts are just extra like little metal parts that you, instead of using plastic, they have metal parts in there. So that is a nice little bonus. Anyhow, um, you know, specs that you're gonna need anyhow, things that, you know, this doesn't come with any electronics in it. So you will need a radio, servo, electronic speed controller, motor, battery, and uh, receiver, along with, you're gonna need a charger. So if you don't have any of that stuff, you're gonna have to get it all. But I already had that kind of stuff laying around. Uh, build time on this thing too, probably about 10, 12 hours, something like that. Just taking my time. So I'm not in any hurry or anything like that. I'm not in a race or anything. So, all right, let's get onto the truck. Now, just kind of letting you know too, it doesn't come with LEDs, so I put my own LEDs in there. And uh, right now it kind of goes into like hazard flashing, but if I just wiggle the radio a little bit, then it goes into it. Uh, the lights aren't flickering. Obviously that's just because of the refresh of the video, but they're solid on. But it does have a, you know, turn signals I put in there as well. So, and I'll show you on the back side of it too. So there you go as far as we have brake lights. And then again, turn signals. I don't have reverse lights, you know, I can opt to, to add an extra one in there. I don't know if this kit will allow reverse light, but I have to check into it a little bit. This is something I got, it was like five bucks, man. It was so cheap. And I just had some other extra LEDs lying around. I thought I bought a big pack from eBay for like eight bucks and came with like 300 LEDs. So um, I switched, I had to switch out some stuff because the LEDs that I got, they look, they say yellow, but they're actually amber, you know, as you can see here. So they work. All right, let's get into the truck and what I think about it too. Um, one thing I do like about it, there's a lot of stuff I like about this thing. Just love the way it looks in the first place. That front grill looks good. And speaking of grill, you can get, it does have a different grill that comes in the kit too. I just like this one. It's a little bit thicker, uh, looks a little bit meaner, and I like the way it kind of wraps right here onto the light. So, but there's the other grill. It's just kind of a, a mesh grill, and um, but I like this one. It's pretty cool. This one, I guess you could add LEDs into it if you wanted to, but you know, as a light bar. But um, I didn't do that as of yet. The other things I like about this as well is there's no body clips on this thing, which is dope because I don't like having, you know, you have the post and then it's all sticking up and I don't like, you know, I wanna kinda of give it more of a scale look and speaking of scale look, I would like to get interior. So maybe if some of you guys have one of these or had one or whatever, I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, you can get a, you know, the in insert for interior. I was like, okay, cool, let me know. So drop a comment down below and say, hey, I got an interior for mine at such and such. Cause it's not a new truck. So it's been out for a little bit, but it is a cool truck. Definitely not one to overlook, I like it. All right, so with the body I was talking about, let's go ahead and flip, 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 flip easy for me to say, right? Flip it on its side um, and show you those little body clips where they go. So right here on the bottom of the bumper, front bumper, it's where you'd slide in your body clip. So it's gonna go there and then in the rear, right here, I'm just gonna push it forward a little bit. And you can kind of see it right there, that little hole, All right? there <laughs> so it's hard to see but it's there so yeah you got the two right there again I just use the al aluminum foil whatnot as far as just to uh, kind of in a pinch right now I don't have any uh, what am I thinking a Gorilla Tape so I like the Gorilla Tape it's black it's not as noticeable and I'm gonna clean that sucker up anyhow as far as the rest of it uh, the bottom of it anyway pretty nice and flat here um, these are plastic and it does come with different sh um, shaft lengths too I don't, I don't know all of it, but there's no adjustments here. There's a little bit of adjustments elsewhere, but nonetheless, um, I'm happy with it. I like it. It's a pretty cool truck. Steel frame that's on it, aluminum shocks. Does come with oil. We'll kind of give you this too. The oil that it comes with is very watery. <laughs> so you can see. Now I could adjust it. I'm gonna probably put some, I might put a little bit thicker oil in it. I'm not 100% sure because I really want that soft suspension. You don't want it to be firm. That way you can at least, uh, can do a little articulation. It doesn't really articulate a lot, so I might have to adjust the suspension a little bit, maybe the springs and so forth, to get a little bit more articulation for crawling. But I'm not, I'm not too picky on it. But maybe some of you guys might be for you know crawling purposes. Anyhow, if you're going to be into a competition, so but for me, just having fun and uh, teach the room. So let me go ahead and get this body off of here. I'll show you. You just lift the front up, 
Obviously it had clips in there, body clips, you'd have to do, undo those first. Then you go ahead and just slide this backwards. Now take it off and then you just lift it up. So I do like that, I like that it's nice and clean looking. Okay, when it comes to the electronics in here, just a you know, run of the mill when it comes to, it's what I had lying around. It's just a uh, Traxxas servo that's in it. And I might be able to show you guys what the number is, just for some people that might be curious. So it's just a, a 2056. Uh, this part here, there's nothing in it, but you could house, you could install or put a, a receiver in there if you wanted to. I put it in there, I could take it, I could take that little box off. I'm really stressing those wires right there. All right, let's get that guy right there. All right, so um, motor, 550 motor. So you can see it's pretty, it's a decent sized can that's in here. And um, it's like a 17 turn. It just, again, came out of a Gen 8 Red Cat, as you can see, Red Cat. <laughs> I do like these motors. Nothing fancy, but uh, they can run on 3S all day long. No issues with them, because I actually have it in my crawl back, crawl back as well, which is that dude, one fifth scale. So um, I got two of those same same motors like this in there. I like the Red Cat motors. Uh, they seem to be pretty torquey anyhow, so I definitely like them. Um, this is just a Hexfly electronic speed controller. Again, came out of a Gen 8 uh, Scout Red Cat. So it can run on 2S, 3S. It has a drag brake on it, so that way when you're on a decline, going downhill, you have a drag brake to it. If you're going up and you get off the throttle, it doesn't roll back on you, so that's nice it has that drag brake function. You can do that 100%, 50%, or nothing. So that way when you stop, it just kind of glides if you want it at zero, which means you just take the jumper off. So. Really nice on that one. Um, you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this vehicle. Anyhow, if you're looking to get one of them, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to get one. But in the meantime, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this vehicle other than the tape that I did on it because, you know, like I said, I'm not done with this thing. But if uh, anybody knows about the interior too, let me know. I'm going to look into that as well. Kind of like it jacked up a little bit higher like that. It would be good. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn that notification bell to all, and we'll catch you real soon. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. And actually, check out our website, omgrc.com. Go down to the very bottom where it says newsletter. Enter your email address in there so you can be notified when sales come along. So anyway, catch you again. You guys take care. Peace.